This one, you can tell by the name, is double replacement, choose precipitates, and it's a multiple choice question. And when you look at the boxes that are squares, that means there can be more than one answer. And if you see circles here, that means there's only one answer. And now let's read the question. It says, which of the following compounds would result in a double replacement reaction with a precipitate? And remember, precipitate means solid. And solid to us means insoluble. And it means we're going to have to reference our solubility rules. And I just so happen to have them handy. If mixed with an aqueous solution with strontium sulfide. So, um, so here's what we're looking at here. So this is going to be a reaction with potassium sulfate plus strontium sulfide. And the question is, will my screen keep up? There we go. And the question is, so um, will a precipitate form? And so in a double replacement reaction, you want to say, uh, well, we'll worry about balancing it later. So strontium, which is the positive, and what I need is my periodic table as well. And I don't know where that got. There it is. So if we look at our periodic table, we can see that strontium is in the second column. That means it's going to be SR2+. And sulfide is in the column right here, right? This is going to be minus one, minus two. These are the minus two ions, or two minus, depending upon how you write it. And uh, let's see. Okay, so when we put these together, it's gonna be strontium with sulfate, and each of those are minus two and plus two. And then the other possibility is going to be potassium sulfide. And potassium sulfide, the K is plus one, and sulfide is minus two. So we have to write the formula like this. And the question is, of these two possible precipitates, which one is a solid or are neither of them solids? So we go to our solubility rules, and I can tell you right away that anything with a group one, let's see solubility rule number one, all common compounds of group one and ammonium ions are soluble. Soluble means aqueous, and that means that that is not the solid. Don't know about the other one yet. But now let's talk about strontium sulfate. And if we zoom in on our solubility rules here, so we've got a rule about group one and ammonium, a rule about nitrates, acetates, perchlorates, and chlorates being soluble. And then we come down, ah, rule number four, there's a rule about sulfates. All sulfates are soluble except those of barium, strontium, ding, 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 uh, and a couple others. So strontium, sulfate is insoluble because all sulfates are soluble except strontium sulfate and some others. So we're going to tick this box. Um, and now let's do the same thing here. And this time our possible solids, or our products really, are um, well, let's do the strontium one. Strontium hydroxide. Strontium's a plus two. Hydroxide. Is a minus one. That means I need two of them. And then my other one's going to be uh, sodium with sulfur. 
And right away from rule number one, we know that anything with a group one cation is soluble, which means it's aqueous. But now let's look at this uh, strontium hydroxide one. So there are no actual rules that mention strontium like exactly, like it's all, so it's gonna be sulfates. And then come down here, there's a rule about hydroxides. And the rule about hydroxides says, except for rule one, which means except for all common compounds of group one and ammonium ions are soluble, except for group one, carbonates, hydroxides, and all of these other things are insoluble. So uh, insoluble means that strontium hydroxide will be insoluble, which means we have a solid here as well. Now, uh, continuing down, our products this time will be strontium with carbonate. Carbonate is a minus two. You can tell that because lithium is in group one and group one is always plus one and it takes two of them. Plus, uh, well, something with lithium in it and lithium is in group one. So we know that it is aqueous. Uh, now strontium, oh, Yes, so um, strontium carbonate, right next to the hydroxides, I think, or the carbonates. Carbonates are insoluble except for group one. So, sorry, we're taking these as we go. Then we get down here um, and we write our potential products between manganese 2 perchlorate, those will be strontium perchlorate, and manganese, and this is manganese 2 because perchlorate is a minus one. So two and sulfur, okay. So now we do have a rule about uh, Perchlorates, it says that all nitrates, acetates, and perchlorates, we'll get up there, and perchlorates are soluble. So, aqueous. And then we have a rule about sulfides, and the rule about sulfides says, except for rule one and calcium, barium, strontium, ah, there's another mention of strontium. Uh, magnesium sulfides are insoluble. So strontium sulfide, oh, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about manganese sulfide. Manganese, not magnesium. Manganese is not on this list. That means it will be solid. That means we'll tick that as well. All four of the choices for this one are in, uh, do, you would check because there's one solid one precipitate.